What's up everybody, it's Mr. Magoo and welcome to today's Gears 5 video in which we are showcasing, exploring, walking through the new map of Operation 7, Ephira. I actually wanted to take the time to make this video because I don't see a lot of videos of maps out there. Uh, I wanted to take the time and appreciate and pretty much, I mean, just walk through it since we don't really have time. Uh, when we're playing games, we're just uh, going to the objective. We're just pretty much killing anybody. So I wanted to take the time to walk through it and maybe give you a little bit of history uh, on the hotel, on Ephira, and maybe some strategies uh, within it as well. So from spawn point, we see the armadillos there, the tanks. Uh, we go straight into the corridor and we turn right. We do see the Axo King Auto Repair open 26 hours. And it's actually one of the things I love about the Gears of War universe is that you see things that are unconventional, like the hours uh, of the day, how many hours of the day, or the calendar, or how many days in the calendar year, and so forth and so on. Uh, they have 26 hours, we have 24, uh, just as an example. But uh, as we see here, uh, we have an L-shaped uh, in the shop. We have an L-shaped room, which pretty much gives you cover from the walls and this little area here. Uh, but you got to be careful for uh, the openings on both sides as it could provide flanks. So that's something just to watch out for. But I think they did a good job with the design, the transit lines here. We have something similar uh, here in Chicago uh, as this. So it's pretty, pretty cool to see that. As we exit the auto shop, we go into the front of the hotel, the courtyard, if you will. Uh, you see some benches, you see the flag. Uh, pretty, pretty open area here. You still could cover, uh, but one of the most open areas in the map. <clears throat> if you see here, uh, you see the beautiful Hammer of Dawn strike right there. Uh, that's the entrance to the road uh, from the city there. So now this is just one small area of Ephira. Ephira is huge. Uh, training Grounds is another map. That's another area of the map where the House of Sovereigns is. So that's uh, something to take note there. <clears throat> As we walk uh, to or out of the courtyard, we're going to see the Cafe Crust. It's pretty much the same thing as the Auto Repair Shop. And if you probably already already know is that most of the Gears maps in the Gears of War franchise are pretty symmetrical so they're going to be the same on both sides. So once we enter into the Cafe Crusp we see the same L-shaped room with uh, a, little, a little thing here to cover yourself but uh, again you have to watch out for both areas on each side as uh, they can flank. As we exit the cafe we see another spawn point here uh, this time we see the destroyed city as well as the hammer of dawn strikes that are happening in the background pretty open area one of the other uh, areas but you don't really stand here uh, because you just want to get to either the objectives or get ready to kill someone uh, as well so we see the hotel in the middle there which is the focal point of the map it's pretty much the area where you're going to be in for the action. So as we go and we turn right here, we see another L-shaped uh, into the back entrance of the hotel. As you see here, you see you have a little bit of cover uh, provided uh, by a little downhill steep right here. And you do see uh, the, the big hotel sign smashing a van here. But as you go up here, you go, you're going to go a little bit up and you're going to go back to where we started in the auto repair shop and the garage. But if we come here, we're going to see, so this is the back of the hotel. Or I mean, if there really is a back, then this is probably, if it's not, then this is probably the second uh, main entrance of the hotel. But this has uh, a plaque and a memorial to the owner. Uh, and it pretty much reads... Uh, on Bloom 12 2402, the father of Tyran Hospitality, Melisandro Warren Estimont broke ground on construction on his first and most famous hotel, the Hotel Estimont. To Mr. Estimont, the hospitality was not merely business, but a most sacred undertaking. 
As Esamant famously declared to be a good host is to possess a so immense. Through gracious and empathetic accommodation of others, we embrace our shared humanity. Since opening, the hotel has accommodated many guests of high renown, such as singer and songwriter Lindell Yee, thrash boss superstar Augustus Coltrane Cole, and Vasgari president Tahir Elim. Which is pretty cool because this is probably one of the high scale uh, hotels that the city of Ephira has. And uh, it's pretty cool that I get to explore it with uh, none other than the daughter of the Coltrane, Hannah Cole. So as we pass that, we go into the entrance of the hotel. We go into, we go up these stairs and it's pretty much going to give you the reception area. You get a statue of Estimont in the middle. And as you see here, you get kind of the exit where there's supposed to be doors, but they block that with uh, barricades here. But this takes you to the front of the hotel or the courtyard where we previously explored. So as we explore around the reception area of the hotel, we do see some high ground here, which you can pretty much use to your advantage Specifically for objective games like Control or King of the Hill, you can pretty much just sit here and shoot anybody uh, that you want or avoid them taking the hill or the objectives. And pretty much it's going to be the same thing on the other side. Uh, this side is going to be a lounge area, cafe, and pretty much the same thing. So as we walk around, we see the hotel pretty much on fire in flames as we pretty much uh, explore the inside of the hotel. So a little bit of history here. Uh, construction, uh, breaking ground for the construction of the hotel was on 12th of Bloom 2402, which I'm guessing Bloom is like spring of uh, the year 2402 in Ephira. It was damaged after the end of the Pendulum Wars. The Locust Horde emerged from the hollow at what was known as the Emergence Day and annihilated a quarter of the population beginning the Locust War. While Ephira was attacked on E-Day, the Cog managed to repel the Locust with the advantage of the Jacinto Plateau, keeping the Locust Hordes from completely invading Ephira. Now, as we saw that in the first Gears of War game, it pretty much gives us the history of it. Uh, ten years later, though, the Locusts were finally able to take Ephira in the Frost 10 AE, which I'm guessing is the winner of uh, 10 after Emergence Day. Uh, the city and hotel were under Locust occupation for four years following the Light Mass Offensive, which we have some of those uh, weapon skins showing the Light Mass Bomb, which I think are pretty, pretty cool. Uh, you know, as you see the bomb explode in the animated weapon skin. The cities of Jacinto Plateau, such as Tallinn, Montevado, Ilima, and Jacinto City were sunk underground, causing the plateau to become geologically unstable. Major parts of the city collapsed into sinkholes and were left in ruins until 42 AE. Either during Emergence Day, the fall of Ephira, the loss, the locust occupation, and the destruction of the Jacinto Plateau, the Hotel Esama was heavily damaged. So you pretty much see the destruction here of all of those, of all of the wars that happened here. Uh, and it pretty much shows from, uh, from what we see here, who knows what really happened after the fact. Maybe this was destroyed even more. But as we take a uh, stroll into where we first started, overall this map gives you a medium range feel, but you can also have outside of the hotel long range combat as well as inside the hotel the close quarter combat so it gives you the best of both worlds and in my opinion it's actually a very fun map to play in in any game mode that's pretty much gonna do it i hope you guys really like the video i really want to make more of these videos kind of just exploring different maps if you do want me to do that tell me which map you would like me to see or explore and I'll make sure to make a video on that although we've seen most of the maps in uh, the game 
I just feel like exploring them and seeing them in a different from a different perspective just gives you a different idea and a different view of what the maps are like. So if you like this video, definitely hit that like button, smash that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and hit that bell for notifications on when I upload another Gears 5 video. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you all on the next one.